Greetings in Jesus' name to every person that can hear me. Thank you so much for the opportunity to the church. My name is Craig Duplessis and today I'll be doing a devotion on Jeremiah 31 verse 33. But for this devotion I'll be reading from verse 31, Jeremiah 31 verse 31. It says, The days are coming, declares the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the people of Israel and with the people of Judah. It will not be like the covenant I made with their ancestors when I took them by their hand to lead them out of Egypt, because they broke the covenant. Though I was the husband to them, declares the Lord. This is the covenant I will make with the people of Israel after that time, declares the Lord. I will put my law in their minds and I will write it on their hearts. I will be their God. So looking at Jeremiah, starting from 31, 31, this is a prophecy of a covenant to come for the children of God. It says in verse 32 that it will not be like the covenant made with Israel when they were in Egypt. So a covenant is an oath, it's an, a promise and it cannot be broken, especially not by God because it says in the word of God, it says in Numbers, there is not a man that he should lie, no human being or son of man that he should change his mind. So if God says it, he will do it. It says that it won't be like the previous covenant that he made with Israel. And Israel broke that covenant. How did they break it? Their behavior, their conduct, their daily loving. They broke the commandments by committing murder, adultery, stealing, lying, eat. They coveting, they just, they did everything that went against the covenant and annulled the law. So God says, instead of an outward covenant, He is now going to put a covenant within us. He's going to put the law in our hearts and in our minds, and He will be our God. Why the heart and the mind? It says in Romans 10, 10, for the heart, for with the heart one believes and is justified, and with the mouth one confesses and is saved. So with the heart you believe, and you are justified, and with the mouth when you confess you are saved. The mouth speaks about First, before speaking, it has to be a thought, and if it's a thought, it comes out of your mind. Faith is something that operates in your heart. You need to believe what you're confessing, but it to go hand in hand. Three, Proverbs 3 verse 5 says, Trust the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. Trust speaks about faith and le- not leaning on your own understanding speaks about your mind. Your mind is what you use to understand and comprehend. So Matthew 22, 37 says, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. There's so many scriptures concerning the heart and the mind because this is where we as human beings fail to understand heaven's culture. Or the kingdom culture. You see, we're so used to the natural that our minds and hearts need to be transformed because it's your mind that has reason and reason means doubt. But through faith, which is in the heart, we start to believe and then things which seem impossible or the unseen then become seen. But until you renew your mind and the doubt is removed, that will never happen. This is why God works on the heart and the mind. The final part of the scripture says, I will be the God. You see, it's not even out of your own that you are serving God. It is God working through you to change you and through that you are serving. Because if it was up to you and out of your own nature, you would have never done it. Because our flesh only wants to do for ourselves. We don't want to serve out of the flesh, out of the natural We just want to gain. We want to benefit. Anything that benefits anyone else isn't worthwhile. It says, I will be a God. What kind of God is He? He's the God that says in Exodus 14, 14, You need only be still, I'll fight the battle for you. The God that says in Philippians 4, verse 6, Don't be anxious for anything, but in everything to pray and supplication with thanksgiving, let your request be made known to God. It's the God that says, Ask and it shall be given. The God who hears before you ask, says, I will be your God. 
And you see, all you need to do to receive this is simply confess. It says in Acts, on believe in the Lord Jesus and you will be saved. All you need to do is confess that Jesus is the Son of God. You will be a part of this covenant. It will be written in your heart. My, my prayer for the church is that, Lord, you will guide us, you will help us, you will strengthen us as the church. That we will not lean on our own understanding, Father God, but we will lean on the understanding which you have imparted in us, that we will trust solely on you and your word. Pray, Father God, and I thank you, Father, for those people who will confess with their mouths that Jesus is Lord. And, Father God, that you will write and create this covenant within our hearts that we are all for a part of this covenant, Lord. Put the law in our minds and write it on our hearts and you will be our God. We honor, we worship and we thank you for it. All the best. God bless.